Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to another episode of Extinct Prince Originals, and this is our Street Jemima's version 2 LEGO costume. Closer look! Hello there, everyone, and here is our finished Struthio Mimus remake. So the previous one is actually um, based off from the Jurassic World Evolution uh, Struthio Mimus, which I actually like, but you know what? It doesn't really shout out um, uh, only to my mid uh, overall look. So I, I, I remade this particular um, dinosaur uh, based off from this particular photo over here. This is the uh, Studio Minus from Path of Titans and I really like the design on this one so that uh, that is the main reason why I opted to have this particular remake uh, recolored and also a pattern from uh, that particular um, uh, species all right so let's have a closer look on this one so it's the same body that I use for my previous um, studio mimus however I I made to it I made sure that the proportions are correct uh, now that I have actually extended the legs and also lengthened the what do you call this the the neck of this one and change also the head as the previous head is quite big I also um, stretch out the arms as the Struthiomimus is one of those um, Ornithomimus that would have a relatively longer arm uh, compared to the other you know usual Ornithomimus such as Gallimimus, uh, Ornithomimus and uh, Pelican, Pelicanimimus and even Archeornithomimus which you will be seeing later on in our size comparison so uh, this one has two studs on the back and it has some uh, feathering details. The feather details on the Path of Titans <clears throat> um, Struthio Mimus uh, is basically located in the um, neck area at uh, the uh, base of the uh, neck where the head and neck meets and at the base of the uh, the other base of the neck which is where the shoulders and the neck would end up with would start and um, of course it has uh, uh, long feathers or um, true feathers on on the arms as well as that of the uh, the tail so the tail is actually composed of three layers of um, uh, foam foam sheets so one here on the side one in the middle and one on the other side as well so uh, that would actually uh, you know, uh, give it that 3D or three-dimensional um, look of the feathers on the uh, Strachomimus. Um, it also has this neck burlap over here. The jaw is not movable, but that's fine because it starts, has such a small uh, head to it. And of course, coloration-wise, it's. Uh, I tried my best to, you know, overall... Uh, get the uh, look of the Struthiomimus from Pad of Titans. Alright, so yeah, so that's it for the um, closer look on uh, on this one, guys. Um, let's now proceed with the next portion of the video, which is... Let's move on to size comparisons. Size comparisons, and we have here again our buddy uh, Ibi, and uh, we placed them far apart because I wanted to, of course, share or share the stage here or the video with some other um, or need to my bits that I've done so far here on that channel. So first up, we have the smallest that I made. This is the Pelicani Mimus. So I made two of these, and uh, I really like the overall design on this one as it has this puff of feathers on on, on the head, and it makes it. Um, stand out from other ornithomimids. Of course, it has this long slender tail, uh, long neck, and of course, a small head to it. And of course, strong and fast moving legs. So, this is my um, Pelicani Mimids. Definitely much uh, smaller than our uh, Stucho Mimids. Right, so if you haven't seen the Pelican Mimus, guys, it's a very simple design and you might actually um, learn from it and, uh, you know, see if you can also do a similar custom by your own. 
Right, so we also have here a uh, a design by um, Ibito Universe or Uncle Mike did this one and uh, I think he really nailed the design on the Stretch Minus Level 40 for Jurassic World the game. Uh, it has this turquoise black coloration to it and some areas where the pink would show up and uh, yeah so it looks very fearsome in my opinion oops sorry uh, and um, uh, in terms of size it's actually uh, a good size comparisons uh, compared to our Strichomimus alright so another one would be <clears throat> the Archeornithomimus so I made two of these uh, this is uh, the uh, male and here is the female ornitho uh, Archeornithomimus uh, they also support this really cool design to it it's very simple it's based off from the Jurassic World Evolution um, Archeornithomimus although I would really prefer for my Ornithomimids to be feathered this one I wanted it to um, to have that you know Jurassic Park Jurassic world ish feel where you know uh, feathers are not seen on most of the herbivorous dinosaurs all right so uh archaeornithomimus all right so next would be the gallimimus and i have several of this but i only brought one uh for for you guys so this is the remake of the gallimimus that i made uh this is uh uh, based off from the Jurassic Park uh, design of the Gallimimus, I know the head is quite big, but uh, I just love it the way I think the head scope on this particular dinosaur is really perfect for this, so I left it. <laughs> well, anyway, so it also has two studs on the back and definitely has the um articulation for the legs the arms and also the head so if you haven't seen my um reversion of the gallimimus please check it out i'm placing the link below all right so another gallimimus would be this one and this is the uh ibito universe gallimimus which uh, uncle mike made uh, it's also uh, a feathered um, uh, ornithomime that's why I, I think uh, I really like how this is actually um, designed it has mixed mix of blue yellows oranges and uh, black which stands out in that color so I think um, Uncle Mike did a really good job at you know capturing the overall design of the Jurassic World um, uh, the game uh, Gallimimus right so and lastly would be the largest of the Ornithomimids well well second to the largest I guess this is the Bayesian Long and here it is so towering over my Struthiomimus over here is the Bayesian Long I hope it stands there you go um, it's the Bayesian Long and um, it has this yellowish color of the head um, some details of feathering all over its body uh, of course there are scaling on the legs and on the arms and uh, yeah so it's a really cool design so please check it out guys my Bayesian Long and that's it for the size comparisons guys I hope you enjoyed that one let's now move on to the next portion of the video this is extinct race species Rocco, and we have here all of the creatures that I've shown you so far in this video and plus one uh, and if you do have other suggestions of other species that you'd like to see here on extinct race then please comment them down below hey Asher um, and uh, yeah, if I ever you know read your comments and your suggestions and definitely if I feel that those would be something that I can include to my collection then definitely will try to um, make those customs all right so let's uh, also um, EB here would like to remind you guys that all that you see here is actually available in our extinct pics playlist but I'll also be placing individual links of all the uh, species that you see here so you won't have to go through um, a lot of videos actually that I have so far um, well let's start with our extinct pig species Rocco let's start from this side this is our EB toy universe version of the Jurassic World the game Struthiomimus this is our extinct pig version of the Gallimimus of um, 
uh, Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. Uh, this is uh, something that I forgot to mention earlier. This is, of course, our uh, version of the Ornithomimus uh, of Jurassic World Alive. You can see that it has this purplish color design on the bottom, uh, white feathers, and of course, red and black feathers as well. So, that is our Ornithomimus. Of course, we have here our EB Toy Universe um, Gallimimus Level 40 from Jurassic World, the game. Our uh, Extinct Peaks version of the Beishan Long. Uh, our Extinct Peaks versions of the Jurassic World Evolution, Ornitho, Archie Ornitho Mimes. And our versions of the uh, <coughs> uh, Pelicani Mimes, guys. So, uh, based off from the Brown Pelican. And of course, the start to show here, this is our Extinct Peaks version of the uh, Struchomimus based off from the design of Path of Titans video game. So that's it for the video guys. I hope you enjoyed this one and if you do have you know uh, concerns and also some suggestions that you'd like for me to send over then please uh, um, uh, then do do put it in the comments down below and uh, yeah so that's it for the video guys i hope you enjoyed this um this video and uh do don't forget to uh, subscribe like and share this video and i'll see you on the next guys thanks so much bye bye also, please do not forget to support our other channels, Ibito Universe, The Adventures of Moira and Azur, and Tito Mike's Kitchen. Please watch their videos and support our channel by subscribing, guys. And as we always would say, let your inner dino brain roar!